Hi guys, welcome to an episode of Sam for Fun. What's up? It's someone's birthday. Hey, here we go. And today we are doing something that I was looking forward to. Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. Mmm. It's a uh, lemonade. All you know, don't know me, you know I love my Jack Daniels. Yeah. I love my Jack and Totes, but I'm going to try uh, to a anything Jack, so. Jack, but lemonade and honey. So, yeah, that's, it's just something different. That sounds pretty damn And uh, he told me about this a couple of weeks ago, and I'm <coughs> kind of glad he brought this up, because I've been wanting to try it. Yeah. And if I like it, I'll probably buy a pack of these. <coughs> how, so tell the people that I don't know, how much it was a uh, full pack of this? I don't know, I bought this like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> I'm going to say between 12 and 15. Okay, all right, there you go. Let's estimate. So if, you, if you're looking it for this... It might be 10.99, I don't know. I yeah. really don't remember, but I know it wasn't... Obscene or well, It wasn't like the Woodhead beer. Yeah. But yeah. that was like, what, $21 for a four pack? Uh, $23.99. That's obscene. Yeah. And, that, and by the way, that really did suck. Yeah. If you guys don't believe us, after you've done watching this video, go back and watch those videos. Yes, and watch that video. And, and if you like our videos, for the love of all humanity, please subscribe to the channel. Right? Yes. It, it literally it takes nothing. Just yeah. push the subscribe button. Right? Just, there we Just go. click subscribe. It's That's free. It. That's it. Please subscribe. Right. For the love of right. God, Come please on. subscribe. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, let's crack this open and try it. All right, that's my favorite part. Yes. Okay. There you go. Hey, thank you. Yeah. First things first, I love the cans. The cans are pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Bring this in for my the Tammy Tan. Okay. Oh, Hope you guys can see it. It's focused. Yeah, you know, you can see it. Okay. Yeah, the cans are pretty cool looking, though. I like the cans. <coughs> and it's not bad. It's not, not bad alcohol percentage. Only 7% alcohol. Oh, that's it? Yeah. It's, it's a little more than a Mike's heart. I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking about either. These are 8%, but... Yeah, 7%, 7%. So... Okay. Okay, well, I'll move it. Huh? First things first, we got to give it the smell test to see how it smells. Uh -huh. And it smells like Jack Daniels and lemonade mixed together. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. <coughs> I, all I smell is Jack and lemonade. <laughs> so, cheers, right. Captain. Two thirty. Cheers. Yeah. It's nice. Wow, that's good. Oh. These are dangerous. Oh yeah. I can see it's getting plastered on these. Yes. Holy Christ, are these good? Yeah. Be careful with these guys. These can definitely. Knock back about eight of these guys, and you will. You will get destroyed. You'll be on your butt. These are awesome. Did we do the Jack and Coke one last time? I think it was the Jack and Coke oh, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think this one's better. Hmm. Hmm. And there's the honey. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, this is actually this is really good. Yeah, this is awesome. Compared to the nasty jelly beans we just had? Oh. Yeah, that jelly beans, <laughs> they, were, they were rough, man. Uh, I had to get the freaking sour mac out of my... Out of my yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys ever want to know what a stink bud tastes like in jelly bean form, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would be, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it literally almost dropped me out of my chair. I've never... I've yeah. never had that happen to me once in my life. Yeah. I've, I've never tasted something so bad where it literally almost knocked me on the floor. Yeah, the rotten and egg one, that, that one, I puked a little <coughs> bit on that one. Oh, that, that, that after. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but the aftertaste stopped me. That rotten and egg was awful. And, uh, <laughs> what, what else did we do? We did the, di we did the dish water one. The yeah. The soapy dish water. It tasted like soap. It tasted like soap. Like actual soap. Like an actual ball of soap. But really, I felt like Alfalfa and the freaking, like, Bill Rastles, and he was doing that duet. Yeah. And he was freaking Dr. Bubbles coming <laughs> out. Yeah. How about Ralphie and, uh... <coughs> What's the name of that movie? Oh, uh, Christmas. Chris Sorry. Christmas Story? Yeah. Christmas Story. Yeah. 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 Yeah, when he said uh, fudge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he didn't say fudge. He didn't I say fudge, though. I said, I said the mother of all, was it the mother of all bad words? The or? mother of all bad words, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, while we're up and down, let's talk about some favorite Christmas movies. Absolutely. All right. Do you want to go first? Or I'll go, go first, because I, I was actually just thinking about this actually a day or two ago. I was very upset. I haven't seen it on once this week. Where was a Muppet's Christmas Carol? Oh, Muppet's Christmas Carol. That yeah, is my hands-down favorite holiday movie. Yeah. I mean, it's... 
It's, a, it's one of those, that I don't like when people use the term feel-good movie, but that really is a feel-good movie. It is, absolutely. You watch yeah. that movie, you're fitting, you're smiling, you're laughing, you're having a good time. Yeah. You know, Kermit the Frog is fitting, uh, Bob Pratchett, that's just golden. Yeah. And the little tiny Tim, the little frog, he lives at the end, that's, <laughs> that's just awesome. Yeah, well, my favorite. How are you? My favorite is playing on almost every channel throughout, from December to the, even they play in sometimes in the middle of summer, <laughs> Christmas Vacation. Oh, that's a good one. I love Christmas Vacation. <laughs> that is my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. A lot of people might disagree with me, but. Yeah, but. Yeah. That is my opinion. Pro like probably my favorite Christmas movie of yeah. all time. That is, that, that is the best, that is the most funniest, <laughs> no matter how many times I watch it. <laughs> That movie never gets old. It's just, it's freaking hysterical, from start to finish. <laughs> oh yeah, it, 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 it's awesome. That, that that is my opinion. I I could probably recite that movie from start to finish. <laughs> and then um another one. Some people don't consider this a Christmas movie. Yeah. But I, to me, it's a Christmas movie. It's be the very first time along. Yeah. Uh, how can you not consider, how can you not consider that a Christmas movie? Like, like some people say that they don't, they don't consider that a Christmas movie. Like, what the hell is the matter with them? You people need your headset. Like, I'm not, like, everything around that movie is Christmas related. Yeah. I mean... I mean, <laughs> come on, like, from them setting up a, a tree to him cutting down a tree to put in a thing and almost get hit by a van. Oh yeah, because I thought he almost got hit by the van. Yeah, yeah, McCollum yeah. Hogan almost got hit by the van. Yeah. yeah, wow. Huh. Yeah. So, I mean, so, Home Alone, another one. Yeah, and you have the second Home Alone, it's... I, I like the second Home Alone, but That's I like... That's why I wanted to bring it up, because it has a lot of controversy. Oh yeah? Oh, that's... Some, you know, either you love it or you hate it. Oh yeah, what's the controversy about it? Oh, that's that, either you love it or you hate it. That is true, yeah, that is true, yeah. I mean, I don't mind the second one. I yeah, like I the second so. one. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of funny moments. It has a lot of funny moments. A lot of funny quotes. Like, especially when the torch just was coming down the steps and they were all flying. <laughs> and he goes, That sounds like a torch just falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is, uh, part two after we, uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, God. Daniel? No. Daniel? 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 Oh, yeah, I'm going to so much. After we fell down the hole. And he just up and looks around and goes, Oh, what a hole. Wow. What a hole. <laughs> okay, my last job, we used to put and joke and say that so many times every day. We just looked around and go, Wow. What a hole. <laughs> and it just, it, it taught us, it taught us all laughing. Yeah. Everyone in the kitchen just burst out laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so. How many times to a skeleton after he's getting left to Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Uh, what, else? what else? would I consider a Christmas movie? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I just never been that but I mean that to me that to me is a classic. No matter how many times I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. Yeah. That Tim Burton did it. I'm surprised he didn't. He came out with a sequel of it, but no one really cared about the sequel. Yeah. What was it when Jack and Sally were supposedly married? Something or like that. Kids or something like something that. Something like that. I'm not. I'm yeah. not too familiar with the sequel, but. I've only heard about it, I've never seen it. One thing I would like to play though is, uh, they did make a video game on that. Came out on PlayStation 2. Yeah. Came out, oh god, I want to say, oh, four or five maybe? Oh, wow. And I, I just heard it was a pretty fun game, so I would like. Oh, Nightmare Before for Christmas? Yeah. Did they really? Yeah, there's a video game out there for that. Oh, I'm going to look up for that on eBay today. Yeah, it's out there. I heard yeah. it's, uh, it's pretty hard to find, but if you can find it, I heard yeah. it's worth a play. If anybody out there plays it, let us know. Yeah, yeah. So. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, another thing. Let's Since see that. Let's see if it's Christmas related. Christmas related? No matter what subject it is? Yeah, let's see if it's Christmas related. Okay. Tis the season. Since we're big wrestling fans. Yeah. <coughs> favorite, and TOC falls in December every ah, year. All right. What is your favorite TOC match? Hmm. I think there was one year when TLC was in... <laughs> was it uh, October? Yeah, that was weird. But it's mostly in December. Uh, oh, my favorite TLC match. I 
You guys know what that's from? You're pretty damn awesome. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm gonna say TLC 2 from WrestleMania 17. That just had the hype, that had the crowd, that yeah. had the that just had the energy, and they went out there and they killed it. I no, agree. No upset. But, uh, my favorite TLC was, they had, <coughs> this was probably back in 2011, I would say, 2011, 2012. There was a very underrated ladder match with Sean and Benjamin and Christian. It was the opening All match. Right. I remember that one. That match was phenomenal, and they never <laughs> talk about it no matter what. Alright, yeah. And that's, a, something, and that's something I'll never forget. That was probably one of the best yeah. matches I've ever seen at a TLC pay-per-view. So, if you guys ever want to see that match, <laughs> just go look that up on uh, <coughs> on the network. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, still topping up those jelly beans. Yeah, those jelly beans will do it. Yeah, uh, yeah that the Sultan Benjamin and Tristan match, I actually found that match not that long ago. I was yeah. like, damn. Yeah. Okay. And then Benjamin takes a really big bump off the he top. He did. Yes, he did. And the top of what? A 12 foot ladder all the way down to the mat? Just yeah, spot. he just flew this spot, thank you. <laughs> there was nothing catching his fall or nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, didn't prepare for that one. That, that was a bulky spot. Yeah. Alright. Christmas me. Alright. Uh, what? Good one. Okay. Favorite type of Christmas food? I was just bring that up. What's your favorite <laughs> holiday meal? Hmm. Uh, I would think of some of probably cookies, holiday cookies. Hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna say a nice baked mac and cheese. Well, baked mac and cheese you could have. You could have that all year round. Yeah. 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 But especially, right. especially good in the winter. <coughs> yeah. 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 That's but if I would have to pick a Christmas related thing, it'd probably be Christmas cookies. Yeah, cookies. Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas cookie? Yeah, that's a good question. <coughs> wow. Uh. I like when they normally say that, but they, some people like make these cookies and they put like a Hershey Kiss in the middle of them. Oh, the peanut butter ones, right? Peanut butter ones, yeah. Yeah, those, those are my favorite. Yeah, those, those are my favorite. Yeah, those, those are pretty good, yeah. Yeah, those, those are my favorite. But yeah. as you guys know, I'm a peanut butter junkie. I, oh, I love peanut butter too, I yeah. I eat peanut butter right out of the jar with a spoon. Yeah. Hop, 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 hop. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Alright. Alright. Hmm. What was the best Christmas gift you ever got? Wow. <laughs> That's one I don't even have an answer for. I, I asked again first. I remember waking up every morning. <laughs> and from when I was four years old to <laughs> now, and my dad gets me piles and piles and boxes and boxes of wrestling figures. Mm. Which I still have to this day. Yeah. In my attic. Rich, yeah. I will be doing a, we'll be doing a video of that yeah. very soon. Guys, we're talking about it for a while, but we'll there's, be doing there's, it soon. there's a reason why we're hyping up, and you'll see why when And I'm telling you right now, you can probably get a bust my balls in the comments saying that he has nothing. Wait till you yeah. see. I have three rooms. Yeah. Guys, we've been hyping this up for months, and it's for a reason. Yeah. Trust me. Be patient. Yeah. When the time's right, we're going to do it, and... It, it's going to yeah. be worth the watch. Boom. It's going to be mind-blowing. Yeah. And another thing I want to do, and I hope to God they see this, is Wrestling Figure Podcast. You think Matt Cardona and Michael Jordan are Wrestling Figure Collecting? He's got nothing on me. Yes, he buys prototypes. I gotta give him credit because he has the money to do yeah. it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I mean, I, he does that. Yeah. But there's one thing between me and him. He's a loose figure collector. I'm. I collect everything on card. Mhm. Mm the only figures that I buy <clears throat> loose is all, all the Hasbro figures. I love the Hasbro figures. The ones from the early nineties, from ninety yeah. to ninety-four. Yeah, and I, I, the, I, throw like this, and they go like this, and. Yeah, and, yeah. My uh, favorite, my favorite one is the Kerry Von Eric one, and he twists it around and it spins. Oh yeah, the Texas one. Yeah, and they also did that with Tonka. With uh, Tatanka. Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. So. And then they do that with Boss Man too. Yeah, no, Boss Man had like he had a clothesline, right? He had a clothesline. All right. Then that was the second Boss Man, <laughs> but the first Boss Man with the glasses had uh, like a, it was like a hole in the middle, and you put the Kindle stick in, and he just does 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 this. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So. I can go on and on talking about Hasbro figures forever because I, I I love those figures, but trust me, guys. When you see my collection, it's gonna be worth the watch. It's gonna be worth the wait. Yep, yes it is, guys. Me and him, especially me, I'm not hyping this up for a reason. You guys are gonna basically crack your pants when you see my collection. All right. So I just wanted to get that out there. Uh, you been going to the right time. All right.
Alright. Say 45 minutes? Oh, 15. 15. Alright, 15? Alright, I'll go. I'll go in two three minutes. Okay. Hmm. That's, no, that's one final holiday question we can ask. Okay, wait a minute. I, what was your favorite gift? Oh, uh. Man, that's a tough one. Uh. Hmm. I don't know, that's a tough one. I mean, uh. Yeah, because you, you always got a lot of good stuff for Christmas, man. I did, uh. Yeah. And it's hard because over the last couple of years, I just buy all my old stuff and I just. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I, I buy my. Yeah. I just tell people, get me socks and underwear or. <laughs> and dip, dip, dip times. But how about this? Like, what were your favorite <laughs> gifts, you know, growing up? That's okay. Uh, if you could think of it, if you could remember it. Hmm. I don't know, I'm trying to think that that far, it's hard to remember. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember back when Harry Potter came out when I was a kid, I had the uh, Harry Potter, that what was that, Harry Potter candy maker? Remember I had that? Oh, I remember you had that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was this little, like, uh, well, not like easy baked oven, but it was like the Harry Potter candy maker, where obviously now if you look at it, it's like doing a little mech lab thing. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> YouTube don't demonetize this video for that, but yes, I said meth lab, but it was. It was like a little, <laughs> a little, uh, what was it, a little cauldron, and you put all kinds of powders in it. You push buttons, they would, it would boil, it would bubble, it would steam, it would turn the freaking solids, it would turn. It was the weirdest thing ever, but yeah, I think that was, that's definitely one, a memorable one. I yeah. Mean, me and you had hours of fun with that. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah, man. And we made some terrible taste and candy. Oh, God, it was awful. <laughs> it, it, it was awful. They came a little recipe. It was fun to make, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, blast. But they yeah. came a little recipe times, but, oh. <laughs> it had some terrible taste. Oh, it was, it was, it was, it was atrocious. Atrocious. No, no, I got that same year, which is, uh, actually the first and only Lego set I actually built and actually put, put, the, put the time and detail in the bit was, a uh, Hagrid's Hut. Oh, really? And mm -hmm. I wish I kept that together, and I wish I kept it, <coughs> you know, had some pictures or something to, of it, because it was actually really cool. But yeah, I had an in-detailed little, it was probably like, I'd say, about like that, maybe about that high, of Hagrid's Hut. <coughs> and it came with a bunch of little Harry, Ron, I think the Malfoy, and Hagrid. Oh, okay. And of course, me being the big wrestling fan, I had them all wrestling each other in the store of the hut. <laughs> so after it happened, I had the hut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones, like, you know, wrestling figures and all that stuff, but... <sighs> I'm trying to remember. I remember the one year my dad, when my mom got me um, a dog food. But it wasn't like a sharp one, it was like a plastic. It had plastic dogs on it. No, I remember that. That was fun. And man, me and him had hours and hours of fun playing yeah. that damn dog food. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we actually have a dog park down here behind this. Behind the, the canvas. Canvas. So if uh, you guys want to, uh, I don't know, come up with some uh, fun dog game, let us know. We'll start yeah, playing Yeah, we can play like Drunken Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. I know, right? Yeah, so let's know, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't have to drop us a comment. Like, yeah. like, like. Uh, we, we do this for you. Yeah, we do. We do it for you. And we appreciate every view. Yeah. Honestly, I upload every video, and if I get more than one video, I'm surprised. I <laughs> know, right? But, yeah. keep them coming, guys. Yeah. With that being said, we'll, we'll bring it home. We got a couple other videos to shoot tonight. Yeah. And we might get 